what would you I'm not gonna piss do? off a god. That's like the step one for fucking up your people. life. You must end their suffering. Alright, I'll put them all to the sword. That'll end their suffering. By slaying Hepnage? No, by killing them all. There's another evil on Saria far greater than that. One you must uncover and destroy. Oh, fuck me, dude. How? The fruit has given you new eyes. Ones that can peer into the spirit world itself. <laughs> Go and find the lost spirits that roam this island. And give to them last rites. Talk to them. <sighs> the dead hold the key, Jason. In their dwindling minds, you'll find the answers that you seek. So... We lost you there for a moment, Jason. I spoke with Hermes. We have more work to do. We have to go talk to more people. Great. The rest of this game is going to be fucking talking to people. To God damn it. I must speak with the spirits of the dead. The fruit I ate allows me to see them. There's something going on here. Something more than just hypnosis. What do you mean? A greater evil. Hermes says the dead will tell us more. A greater evil than Hepnage? But what? Hecate, maybe? I don't fucking know. Okay, so Hermes was like, you have been given new eyes. So I just thought it'd be really funny if Jason's old eyes were on the, Arg on, the on, on the Argos and we could go and exchange them. But it's like a really bloody process. You know, it's not just like, oh shit. A spirit. It's like, do you see it? Switching out your sword. No. I don't see anything. It's like cut out your eyes, just replace Only them. Only I ate the fruit. Only I can see them then. The jungle is unsafe. Not safe for anyone. Hermes sent me to help you find rest, spirit. Run, my child. Run to safety. Um. Who is your child? Who do you tell to run? Take me, but let her be. How did you meet your end? Spirit? Fucking talk, bitch. Okay, so cliffs are bad. Sander, protect our daughter. Oh, fuck's sake, more names! Oh shit, that's. Sander? Oh my god, what? that's. Um, that's my father's name. Um, 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 um. And your mother's. Uh, it was or Pelagia. Or Oracle Pelagia, yeah. No parents were great people, Atalanta. The assassin and the Oracle. Yeah, fuck. What, what are you Memories, talking about? Dude. My wife was murdered because of a prophecy given to her father by the Oracle Pelagia. For that, she was marked for death by the Black Tongues. But the assassin sent to kill her instead. And then they murder. fucked, and here you are. That assassin's name was Lysander. Together they fled and disappeared from history. They came to Saria to hide. Wait, what? Wait, who sees the truth? There's two females talking here, and we must save them. Who's them? Lysander and Pelagia? Or... Wait, who else would it be then? Um... Fuck. Your parents could have many insights to share. Both about the evils on Saria, and about the Black Tongues. We must do as Hermes asked. Go to her final resting place and give her last rites. Are you done talking? Okay, you're probably done talking. Shit, yeah, all these names from the beginning. Like, fuck, we talked to so many people. Tracks. Oh, shit. Can you see them? Where? I see nothing. Strange. Dude, seriously, this Jason. Must be Hermes' sight. Anything that's fucked up is probably Hermes' sight. All right, are we going to fight Hypnage again? This looks like... Fucking knew it. Oh, more satyrs? Alright, then I want the... Actually, no, I want the, I want the spear. Jason, spear. Oh, wait, are these... Oh, god, you bastard. What was that? Do that again, do that again, do that again. No, you fuck. Ooh, six black tongues. I'm on a fucking roll. And how many has Medea killed? Fuck all, that's the answer. Oh shit, he disappeared. Oh, wait, did he? What? He was gone, but now he's gone. Oh my god, what the fuck is- Oh, Jesus Christ, that- That scared the shit out of me. See, I thought I saw an enemy, like, right there. I- I thought I saw enemies right there. And then I see fucking something move in the background, and I thought it was Hypnage coming to fuck me. 
But then there were two enemies there for real, so I'm just tripping balls, apparently. Oh, for fuck's sake. Who? Oh. Black tongues fighting with satyrs. The satyrs are suspicious by nature. The black tongues must have been here some time to earn their trust. Is okay. Really quick, off on a tangent. Really quick. Okay. That's something that kind of annoys me in all, pretty much every fantasy adventure, whatever bullshit, where they have, you know, centaurs, satyrs, dwarves, elves, all that shit. Like when they say like, oh, satyrs are suspic suspicious by nature. Like. Oh, centaurs, they're all really good craftsmen and good warriors. Like, oh, dwarves, they're all obsessed with mining and shit. Elves, they're very wise and long-lived. Like, I don't know. It would seem to me that if there's other races out, obviously this is speaking as if, you know, centaurs, dwarves, satyrs, elves, all that shit, if they're alive. In, in, in the real world. It would seem to me that you wouldn't describe their whole species as, like, one trait, you know? Like, what do you say about humans? Like, oh, humans, they're greedy by nature. Well, yeah, some, I guess, but mostly not really. I happen to be a glass half full kind of person when it comes to believing in humanity. But like, oh, humans, they're jealous by nature. Not really. I mean, there's no one trait you can give to all of humanity. So why would there be one trait you can universally say for like a beast? And then to have those always be true, like, oh, centaurs, they're all really good fighters. Like, really? I don't know. It would seem to me that, yeah, like, some humans are really good fighters. Some aren't. Some are scholars. Some just kind of sit around and do nothing all day, like me. So, like, I don't know. It's just whenever in... Okay, Lord of the Rings is a good example. Oh, dwarves, they're all greedy by nature. And they want to mine stuff and do all that. Like, sure, I'm sure most are, but... I don't know, it's just fantasy writers like J.R.R. Tolkien, like, like, dwarves, you basically, they, he puts them all under, like, one umbrella. And then elves, oh, they're all really wise and good archers for some fucking reason. And it's like, I don't know. It, it basically, it's, it's annoying, I guess, is what I'm trying to say, that, like, Oh, satyrs, they're all suspicious. Centaurs, they're all really good fighters. Or, I don't know, it, it's not realistic, I guess is what I'm saying. And yes, I realize that I'm saying that satyrs and centaurs being something aren't realistic. But, you know, of course they're not realistic. It's Greek mythology, but... I don't know, it, it seems lazy to me that you would describe one species as, like, one trait, you know? Like, obviously, like... What would you describe humans as in one defining trait? Like, you can't. Okay, humans are naturally... I don't know. Um, fearful. There. But even that one doesn't really work, because... Sure, most are, but some aren't. It's like, oh. Oh, sorry, Pan, I almost killed you there, because I thought you were a bad guy, because, you know, you're a satyr too. Holy, who the fuck? The fuck? What the fuck is going on with that satyr? Get up, bitch, so I can kill you so you don't... <laughs> that will never not be funny to me. Haha! -ha. Holy Christ, Jason. Do you play baseball for, like, some famous football? Or, sorry, baseball team? No, it just seems like really lazy writing. That you would describe, like, all spe all members of one species as, like, one defining trait, and that just is something they all conform to, you know? Alright, are we done? Holy shit, you guys are limping. Like, you guys are hurt. Do I have something that can... What was that? Oh, shit. Did I just waste that? I probably just wasted that. Here is where the Nisiros fought the satyrs, in a great battle. Wait, here? Oh. For three days we fought. Every centaur who could hold a spear. Okay. Is there more to the story? I want to know how it ends. Don't back away from me. You, uh, you intimidated? No, it's just, I, I don't know. It, it's something that's always bothered me. Like, oh, centaurs, they're all naturally proud by nature. And it's like, okay, in... 
for example, Fablehaven. Centaurs, okay, all great fighters, all really proud by nature and, uh, like, untrusting of strangers and, you know, you never want to, like, smack talk them because they get easily offended. It's like, so every centaur in existence in the world of Fablehaven is proud and arrogant and a dick. Every single one of them. Okay. Just, uh, I don't know, I would always, if I was to write anything like that, I would have them all be, you know, unique, like humans. Like, sure, there are humans, obviously, a lot of them would conform to one generic, like, uh, set of, like, description. Like, humans, generally fearful of, like, strange and new things, which I would say is true. And you can say that for just about every human. But you wouldn't say, like, all... That's not really a character trait, as that is, I guess, just a definition of every living thing ever. Like, all living things fear things they don't understand. Like, fire, because fire is not a natural thing. Fire does not occur in nature, like, you know, water and rocks do. Maybe they do. I don't know. Maybe I'm talking shit. I don't fucking know. I'm... Here, Jason. This is my mother's final resting place. It's really hot in my room. No. I just do. It's strange. I've been by this place a thousand times. But after you spoke with my mother's spirit, it's as if I can sense her. I know she's here. I don't even fucking know her! Please, speak the rights. Well, at least we're fighting stuff in between all the talking. Um... The gods be witness to these last rites. Shit. Um... Let's see, Pelagia was an oracle, so we'll go with Apollo. Hear me! Brilliant Apollo, 